What's up, guys? Welcome to this exhalation. Nestor Adriansen here again. Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to perform top end analysis in Power BI. So, are you ready? Let's do this. For today's tutorial, I have two different points. We're going to learn about the syntax, about this powerful function in Power BI. And also, guys, as always, I have a really nice case where we're going to put everything into practice. So now let's take a look at the syntax. Four parts here. The first part right there, the end value, it's basically the number of rows. If we want to say top three, top four, top five. So that's the number that we need to place there. And then the table, it can also be a table expression. For the third part right here, this is the order by expression. It can be by sales, by profits, whatever, right? And then finally, this is optional. It can be ascending or descending. So now let's take a look at the case. All right, so here's the question. Find the top three cities with the highest collected premium. Now you guys know what to do. Let's go to Power BI Desktop. Okay, so I already have this uh, report. We have here three different visuals. We have a table, right? So real quick, this is basically city by total premium. So we have a measure there as well. And we also have right here a curve, right? So this curve, it's basically total premium. And we also have right here a slicer. And this is connected to the calendar table, okay? And this is just as reference, my friends, but now let's solve the question. Okay, so we have two different ways to solve this question. So the first one, is by using a top end filter type. If you guys are curious, you might have seen this right here, the filters pane, right? So we're gonna answer this question by using a filter here. So how do we do this? This is how we do it. Let's select the visual here, okay? And now we have filters on this visual, right? For this particular case, we have city and we also have total premium, total premium, is basically the measure that we have right here, right? So we are looking for the top three cities with the highest collected premium. So city is there. And now let's click on right here. Remember, this should be top three, right? And then by value, here we need to select the measure. So let's drag the measure here and drop it right there. And now you guys know what to do, right? We need to apply the filter. Let's see what happens. Boom. So the top three cities for this specific period of time are Greenville, Phoenix, and San Antonio. Now we can also keep playing here if we want. We can do that. So the numbers change, right? But that's the idea. So we just solved the question, guys, by using a top end filter type in Power BI Desktop. That's one solution. And the other solution is by using a top end DAX function. So let's do that. So let's hide this and then let's start creating the measure. So right click here, new measure. Okay, so we're gonna call this measure top end cities premium, okay? Equal right there, enter. And we're gonna use this powerful function in Power BI, calculate. So let's do that. If you're not familiar with calculate, I'm gonna share with you guys a link as well, because I have a tutorial about this formula or this DAX function. So the expression, or the expression, we're gonna select right here, the measure called total premium, okay? And right here, we need to add a filter, right? So here we need to use the top end function. Okay, let's do that. So let's select right here top end. And now, if you guys remember, we are looking for the top three, right? So we need to select right here three then, comma there. And then for table, so right here for table, remember that we are looking for city. Right? So what we need to do here is use another 
function and we're going to use the function called values and then we're going to select right here the column called cities let's do that so by using values what's happening here is that we only care about the unique values for each city right so now let's select the other option here order by expression and for this particular case we're going to select the measure total premium okay and then this should be descending i'll enter and let's see what happens that should be the measure to find the top three cities with the highest premium all right it's loading fingers crossed my friends all right it seems like it's working but we don't know yet let's do something really cool here let's copy this Control c Control v and then let's move it right here okay and let's select now the new measure okay let's see what happens and if we want we can also add right here a comma as a thousand separator so we can read the number better so what's happening here so we are basically saying that the top n cities premium amount is four hundred and forty five thousand five hundred and ninety dollars right so basically we are adding these three amounts and that should give us this amount see that's how it works my friends so why you think so we just solve this question by using two different methods right the first one was by using a top end filter type basically here we selected the filters pane right if you remember we selected the visual here and then we apply a filter so that was a good one and then the next one was to create a measure right and then we added a, right here a card which is this one right here so that's how it works my friends i hope you found this helpful but before we leave, I have a bonus for you because I know you love bonuses. So how about if we wanna make this measure dynamic? Mm -hmm. We can do that as well. So if you remember, if you have been following my tutorials, there is a way to create parameters here. So let's do that. So let's go to modeling here and let's hit new parameter. Right here, we're gonna create a new parameter here. We're gonna call this top end whole number is fine the minimum is going to be one and the maximum here is going to be five then the increment one default one okay add a slicer to this page yes hit okay and let's see what happens so automatically guys you can see a new slicer here okay so we can make a couple of changes here we can place this right here if we want so this is basically top end cities right okay so how can we make the measure dynamic so this is how we do it okay so let's select the measure here which is this one right here right let's expand this right here we're going to change this number here because we're going to make this dynamic right so let's delete this and now we're going to select right here top end for this particular case, we're gonna select this measure right here. So we're gonna select that measure because that measure belongs to the parameter that we just created, okay? So now let's hit okay or enter and see what happens. All right. Remember that by default, we said the top end should be one. So what's happening here is, check this out. So we can move this to the right or left. So default is one. The top end cities by total premium is San Antonio, right? So what is the amount here? $153,070, which is this one right here. So how about top two? There you go. So this is basically adding San Antonio and Knoxville because those are the top two cities, right? And this is the total amount. So how about top three? There you go. Here we have San Antonio, Knoxville, and Phoenix. So you can also keep playing, right? You can select four right here, 
top five, etc. Right? Remember that this is why we are creating this parameter to make this measure, this measure right here, dynamic. But let's go back to top three because that's what we were asked for. Okay? So you can also keep playing with the filters, right? If you want. So let's say that we care about just 2014, up to 2014. So the numbers change. So everything changes there as well. So what do you guys think? Do you find this helpful? Uh, this is very, very helpful for me. I hope you found this helpful as well. So now let's go back to our presentation. All right, guys, that was it. This was a quick tutorial. I hope, like I said before, I hope you found this helpful. If so, as always, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.